Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central. First thing I want you to do is subscribe and turn on your notifications. Okay, um, with the conclusion of the 2022 Honor Classic, uh, a lot of people, including myself, thought that uh, William Bonat uh, should have won it. Now, there's some people crying, uh, robbery, he was robbed. I wouldn't go as far as saying that he was robbed, although I do believe he should have won. But you can make uh, an argument for both Brandon Curry and William Bonac winning. The only thing is, you can make a better argument for William Bonac. Now, uh, if you look at it uh, on a pose for pose basis, you have uh, the first two uh, poses front double biceps and front lat spread, uh, which are typically very good poses for Brandon, and he should beat William Monack and then, uh, you know, William Bonner has narrow clavicle, clavicles, uh, a short mids, uh, a short uh, compact midsection, a little uh, blocky, if you would, and it's more most noticeable uh, from those front shots, but. Uh, at the end of the day, the truth of the matter is, he actually pushed him on those front shots. He put William pushed Brandon on those front shots where Brandon really should have taken them uh, without a question. Although I still give him those. Uh, first two shots, but he wasn't as dominant in them as he should have been. Now, when you turn to the side, if you remember in the 2020, uh, 2021 Olympia, when Brandon was next to Rami and the side chest, he actually had uh, Rami beating the side chest. At least in my opinion, he did. And uh, his side chest wasn't as impressive as it was then. Overall, his physique, I think, was more impressive. I think it appeared anyway. But William Bonac, oh, he's had a terrific side chest. And it seems like we've had, we have the old William Bonac back again. So we would definitely give William Bonac the side chest. Now when they turn around from the back, uh, they both uh, both have good backs. Uh, Brandon is not as uh, strong in the lower section as uh, William is, but they both have good backs. Uh, shoulders, arms, so when they hit that back double biceps, uh, but uh, William Bonac, uh, the detail, the density, uh, it just wasn't there the same for Brandon Curry. And the lower, uh, the lower portion, there's no doubt about it, uh, it would go to William Bonac. Uh, now, uh, back lots, uh, lot spread where it should favor Brandon Curry with his wide shoulders and his narrow waist, uh, with him lacking, well, it's not, he's lacking the detail, uh, that he should have. I think it's simply because I don't think his conditioning was where, 
It shouldn't be what we were expecting. So, and uh, William Boniak, considering as narrow clavicles, he opens a pretty good in that back lat spread, and it's thick, dense, uh, detailed muscle. Uh, like I said, he has him in the lower body. You'd have to, uh, no doubt about it, lean towards William Bonac for the for the back shots. Uh, so at this point, I'd have Brandon Curry two to William Bonac uh, three. Uh, from there, we go to side triceps, which they both have good side triceps. But uh, I think that uh, William Bonac was definitely thicker, denser, muscled. And the conditioning uh, made a big difference at at the legs. That uh, his hamstrings, the way they just hang from the side, is very, very impressive. So you're going to have to give the side triceps, at least in my opinion, to William Bonac. I got William Bonac for uh, uh, four poses to two against Brandon. From there, we go to the abs and thighs. Even though Brandon's conditioning wasn't exactly where it should be, you would it's not a good pose for Bonac at all. Like I said before, that, that sh- uh, short, stocky, uh, short torso, a wider midsection. You know, Brandon would get the nod on the abdominal thighs. Last shot, most muscular. William Bonac, he's back. Uh, we see the old William Bonac, and William Bonac is on. He has a terrific, most muscular, and you would have to give the most muscular to William Bonac. So if you look at it on a post pose basis, you got Brandon Curry, the front double bicep and the front lat spread. And the abs and thighs. And I would give William Bonac the rest of the shots. Conditioning, I don't think there's uh, any question. Bonac had him beat with conditioning. Muscularity, William Bonac won the most muscular award. Uh, Brandon... It's not that his conditioning was bad. I'm not saying his conditioning was bad. This wasn't where it should have been, what we were expecting. Uh, And he he has a pretty physique. Wide shoulders, narrow waist, uh, nice flow and shape. And... I mean, that's where you can make the argument uh, for Brandon Curry. Uh, His conditioning wasn't bad. It was good, but not what we wanted. But he has that beautiful physique, wide shoulders, narrow waist, shape, flow, and all that. But on the other hand, with the conditioning and the muscularity, um, I feel that you need that it should have went to William Bonac. Now, as disappointing as I'm sure the loss was to William Bonac, uh, 
it was a big payday, two hundred thousand uh, dollars this year for the winner of the Honor Classic. But not only that, uh, William Bonac is not qualified to compete in the Olympia. Last year, he placed sixth. The top five automatically qualify. He needs to qualify. So not only does he lose out on a very big payday, he misses out on his qualification. He can't just shift gears and start focusing on the Olympia. He has to jump into another show, uh, win, and qualify. Uh, I'm not sure if he plans on doing a Boston Pro that's coming up uh, this weekend. That's the next show. But if I was him, I would be looking at shows that are very close by because you're already in shape, which is a big plus. And then if you qualify, it gives you enough time to get a very good Olympia prep in. All right, if you uh, agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Also, if you go to the description box, there are some links there. One link is to the Facebook Muscle Central page. Any questions, you can go there. DM me. I'd be happy to answer them. You're going to find links to Species Nutrition and Mr. G's Protein Snacks. Click on both links. Go to both websites. Check out all the great products. Once again, this is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.